Hi, my name is Jeremy Brun. Uh, in this video, I'm going to feature the High Vibe system and show you how to install it in either a steel strung or a nylon strung guitar and show a couple of options that might make the installation a little easier. Importantly, I'm going to demonstrate simple tools and efficient methods on the basis that if you have the dexterity to play a guitar, then you have the skill to use a few basic uh, woodworking tools to make a neat job of the installation. So what is the high vibe? Well it's a sophisticated electronic device that transforms an acoustic guitar into a loudspeaker uh, with added special effects such as reverb, chorus and a looper built in. Wow that's something that interests me uh, because uh, you can also adjust the number of bars so in effect you can create backing tracks to a song. Now you can also feed in your own backing tracks from your mobile phone via Bluetooth and with the High Vibe app you can tweak the settings uh, such as um, equalizer. So the device eliminates the need for a loudspeaker and also a pedal board in some environments. But of course you can also plug it into a loudspeaker via cable or wirelessly. Uh, it's a versatile piece of kit. Now the original High Vibe is installed into lag guitars and very nice guitars they are too. And so now the same device is available as a kit. High Vibe sent me one to install in one of my guitars, uh, this demo guitar that I just completed which is aimed at woodworking beginners to build. Uh, more about this briefly at the end of this video. The unit arrived very neatly packaged, so let's take a look at the various components. The mechanical part of the system are two actuators that are bonded with superglue to the underside of the top of the guitar, turning it into a loudspeaker baffle. The controller unit looks like any acoustic guitar preamp, perhaps a little bigger and into this connects the actuators, an undersaddle piezo sensor uh, and two wires to the output and input jacks at the base of the guitar and oh there's another connection, a USB C type cable that links to the jack assembly which connects to a charging plug. Wow, that, that's a lot of connections into the control unit and they're very tiny and I must admit I had difficulty locating them, not least because the sound hole on a guitar such as mine is smaller than on a, a dreadnought guitar and everything is fitted through the sound hole and according to the size of your hand of course. Well let's take you through the various ways to make the cutaways for the system and options for installing the components. The important thing when working with wood that is so thin and brittle is to be gentle with the wood.
there we are that's the standard uh, installation I must say it raised a few questions in my head about whether there's an easier way so here are a couple of options uh, of ideas that I had to make the installation easier the first one is to make the cutaway larger so that a pre-wired controller can easily slip in uh, maybe High Vibe will be able to make small modifications to the lip of the controller and repositioning of the screw holes. Uh, the second idea is more radical but not difficult to do and I've devoted a separate video to it. Cut an inspection hole in the back of the guitar. This makes installation of all the High Vibe components so much easier and is also useful for doing internal repairs such as fixing uh, loose struts. Now, you know, when I was 17 and still at school, I made my very first guitar and I made it in a weekend, working throughout the Friday night and the Saturday night. On leaving school, I considered becoming a guitar maker, but realised I'd soon become bored uh, repeating the same constructions because uh, guitar making was very much steeped in tradition but I, I've kind of come full circle and as the colour of my hair has gone white uh, so too am I devoting more time building my own guitars and it's an exciting time as well because in recent years there have been some exciting innovations in guitar making whether it's materials or the fusion of acoustics and technology such as the high vibe system and in fact i'd forgotten that back in 2009 i sketched a concept for a similar idea to turn an acoustic guitar into a loudspeaker uh, but i never got around to building it and i suspect there would have been a few sound wave conflicts now talking of which i've got a little tweaking to do to get rid of feedback and uh, I notice that the manual is quite involved in this respect. I was excited to busk on the streets of my city with the high vibe fitted, but a little disappointed that in bright sunshine I could not see the already small display. But I think once set up and I know what knobs to press, the looper function will be a, a real killer. Well, whether you have the confidence to install the high vibe yourself or have a, a woodworking friend that will do it for you. I hope you find this video useful. If you like my approach and are watching this video for the first time, please do subscribe and click the innovations button. Uh, please click the notifications button. Oh, and my multimedia uh, publication on the building of this guitar also includes build instructions for a dreadnought size guitar and my other publication uh, which is a hardback book uh, shows how I built uh, this my favorite guitar uh, the Jez Brun acoustic guitar uh, which uh, involves a lot of electronics as well and the book covers traditional practice as well so there's a lot in both books Thanks for watching.